This week in the galley, we're in San Diego, California, and we're in the Mission Hills area, right next to Hillcrest, right on the border there. San next to me is Chef Will. We're here at the patio. Hey, Chef, thanks for helping hey, us out today. Hey, Sandy, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. So what do you have in store for us? Uh, today we're going to be doing a little ahi tacos that we've been having on the menu since the opening of the restaurant. So we have a little bit of bluefin tuna here that we're going to, you know, put into little taco shells. You know, normally in the restaurant we have these things that are going to be pre-fried to make it a little bit easier for us during the course of service. So, I mean, at home you can fry up as many as you need just for, you know, 10, 12, 15. Here we do it about for 150. <laughs> so we're a little bit more on the volume side. So, you know, we pre-dice all our uh, bluefin tuna. and. You know, put it in your bowl right away. And you know, you can use yellow fin, you can use blue fin, whatever, whatever you really like. And this, this uh, marinade right here is uh, soy ginger, so a little bit of soy sauce, ginger, sambal, a little sesame oil, nothing crazy. You can get whatever, whatever you feel necessary for flavor-wise. And then we're gonna mix it in with a little cilantro scallions, a little sesame seeds there. And you know, you're gonna to wanna to let this sit a little bit because you are, you are marinating it. So you wanna kinda of let that marinate, get into the fish and you know, get all the juices going and get all the flavors going. Um, if you were doing this at home, would you throw in the refrigerator for you could, yeah. I mean, a couple you hours? Know, so, you know, during, during service, you know, we'll have like a bowl of this and we'll just let it sit there and marinate that way. We save that little time there right away. So wow. I mean, right now we're just doing this like this. So we'll let it sit there for a minute or two and then once it's ready to go, we'll put it into our shelf. Cool. So this is Napa cabbage. We chefinated really, really fine, so that you know, doesn't you don't want it to be too thick because if it gets too thick, it doesn't really doesn't give it the texture that you want it to have. So we're gonna line our shells here with a little Napa, and it also helps the fact that all those juices don't go into the, into the shell and make the shells all soggy. So instead of this, instead of the shells getting all soggy, we'll let the cabbage get soggy there. We'll take our shells. Kind of want to do it over the bowl that way. Anything that you do drop gets thrown back into the bowl there. And then we have a little cucumber salad here. We take our cucumbers, a little thin slice, a little red onion in there. It's pretty much just a pickled cucumber, really. Um, and we just put that on there to finish it all off, to bring it all together. You know, adds a little garnish there. And you know, as the Japanese do, we'll put a little wasabi, wasabi on there and a little pickled ginger to finish it all off. And you know, at the restaurant, we do three of these, we do four of these, six of these, 10 of these, however you might want for the table, and we get it all out there for you guys. Well, Chef Well, this looks delicious. Awesome. I gotta try one. Nah, go for it, go for it. Textures, sweet, salty, spicy. It's a little great. Bit. Yeah, right, fresh. Can't it's taste got all it kinds of different flavors. Yeah, yeah. And I've never had a taco shell like this. So. Uh, it's the wontons. You fry them up really crispy like that. It changes this, the textures all completely. This is really good. Yeah, awesome. This is a great dish. and. Is there any one tip you can give somebody at home making this? Uh, the thing is, get the tuna as fresh as you can get it. There's no sense of you know going out and getting something that's one, two days, three days old. You want to get it as fresh as you possibly can. That way the flavors are clean and the tuna talks about the tuna. That's about it right yeah, there. Very simple just to do. You can do this a day after a fishing trip. Yep. Don't put the fish in the freezer. No, throw it no, in the no. refrigerator and make it the next step. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's really good. Well, yeah. thanks again. Thanks so. a lot. Thanks a lot, Dan. Remember, it's the patio. It's in Mission Hills area, San Diego. You guys are on Facebook and all uh, that? Facebook, Instagram. I'm the one that really takes care of the pictures for all the pictures, so you'll see all the food that we put out that day. Um, yeah, we're all over social media. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot. All right, well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sportfishing.